Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at why you should have air assist on your laser. So, um, we're going to go through, I'm going to do an example of it uh, with air, without air assist and then with air assist so you can see what difference it makes. Now, in the last video that we did, we assembled this air assist system on the new CO2 laser. And I talked a little bit about it, so um, if you want to see more, again, check back in the playlist for that video uh, about how to create one of your own. Uh, but this one, we're going to talk about um, why you need it. Now, I, I see a lot of folks out there, you know, they buy these, and the air assist is a little bit twofold. One, it's, it's a nice to have because it improves performance, and we'll talk about that in the end. Uh, however, the bigger, bigger thing I see with this is a safety feature. So as we go through this, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about, and we'll cover that at the end. Now, I am going to be wearing my safety glasses in the background. I will be off to the side. I will set this to automatically run, so again, be safe. Um, I've made sure that no pets or anything are in the room, so it's clear of other people and pets, because I am going to leave the top open uh, for video. So let's go ahead and let's uh, cut a small square in here and see what happens to that square. Okay, so you notice the, uh, I'm going to deactivate the laser so I can stick my hand in there. Uh, you'll notice that how charred this is and the fire, the flame we actually had uh, in doing that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to activate the air assist and we're going to do this uh, again and we're going to see the, the difference of doing that. Now, one of the things that you noticed in the second run is um, I didn't have any flame. So, when I had this one, I had actual flame. The flame is dangerous. With, with this uh, on, I had no flame. Also, one of the things I want you guys to take a look at, too, I'm pressing on this. This is not cut through. This is basically cut through. I can pop this out. Um, it's still a little bit more charred than I would like. Uh, but actually, I, I have the power set a little high. What I would probably recommend is uh, having the power and making a couple different passes. However, I wanted to, you know, just demonstrate how this works. So, um, the air assist also helps. One of the things that this does is you notice, and I left the fume extraction off intentionally because I wanted uh, you guys to see the fumes or, or, or smoke that was created by this. Because that's the other one of the other things that's going to happen is that's going to get your lens dirty. That's going to attenuate the beam, um, and also this, as the air is blowing down, is actually kind of clearing out your cut a bit, uh, giving a little bit better um, uh, cut. I think this actually works, and then maybe, maybe some of the more astute laserites out there will correct me. But especially on plastic. You know, when the beam hits it, it kind of vaporizes it, but I, I do sense that, or have the experience, that especially on acrylic or that, the air assist helps clear out the cut a bit better, and I think it does a little bit here too, and especially if you make multiple passes. However, the biggest thing for me with this is also the safety aspect, because again, you saw how much flame I got here, and you saw, you know, basically I had no flame here. And so that's the piece. You don't want flame as you're cutting. Now, uh, again, I've got, uh, you know, if you look at the front here, too, you'll see how clean this is. I mean, how, how this isn't clean, sorry, and how this is clean. I did get a little bit of back burnout here um, in it, but uh, for the most part, you notice that this is, this is a lot cleaner than this. And again, if I turn this down a little bit and made two passes, I, I'd probably come out with a perfectly clean square at the end of the day using the air assist. So... Uh, anyways, I, I just kind of wanted to share a little bit from both a safety and a practicality feature about why you should use Air Assist. And again, the biggest thing is, uh, I, again, I'm a little bit nervous about use, utilizing a plastic Air Assist. 
However, as you notice, if there's air going, you really don't have any flame and it's, it's sort of okay. Um, but again, you have to be careful with the beam passing through this because the beam itself can burn this and set this on fire also. So again, use care when, when, when utilizing this. So anyways, hopefully you found uh, this video interesting and useful. Uh, you know, again, if you have questions, hit me up down below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, I'll put links to all this stuff in the description below. So if you want to do one of these yourself, you, you know where to get the stuff. Um, and hey, don't forget to subscribe. A lot more of this stuff coming. Again, 3D printers, CNC, laser cutters. Uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to cover the, the real gambit here for small home-based or small-scale manufacturing, utilizing these tools, how these tools work, etc. So again, see you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.